Hey guys, so what am I working on now? Well, I've got this Chrysler Pacifica. What year is this thing? I don't even know. It's the first generation of them, the big station wagon-y looking thing. Anyway, customer came in. It's a 3.5 liter. He's complaining of a coolant leak. So uh, I just got in the shop, just popped the hood. Uh, it's been here since yesterday. It came in yesterday. So let's take a look at what we got going on. I just took the coolant cap off. I won't call it a radiator cap because it doesn't sit on a radiator. So we have a coolant reservoir over here. And it sits right here. And uh, and we got no coolant in it. So let me add some water to that and let's see what happens. Now I thought this thing kind of clattered a little bit too when I started it up. Like I didn't like how it sounded. So let me check the oil too. So I just added a gallon of water to this thing and it's still not full. You can just see the line down there below the full there. Can you see that? Matter of fact, no. Actually, it's, I think it's even lower than that still. No, that's just a, that's a seam inside. Let me add some more to it. That's all, that, that was literally almost a gallon. So that there is a gallon and a half. And you can see the levels here. And it's going down rapidly. So we're leaking somewhere. Or I don't know. I just looked underneath it. Recall this vehicle? This is the one I put the alternator on. Uh, let me pull the dipstick out. Hang on. Let's see where it's at. All right, so the oil level's all right for now. I mean, it's close enough. But I just didn't like how the motor sounded. It could have just been in my imagination. It could have been just because it was cold. Who knows? This is a 3.5, just like that 4-liter. I'm not a big fan of these motors. Let's put this thing up in the air see if we can't see anything. I like to visually check first before I pressure test anything. Because sometimes you pressure test and you just wind up making a gigantic mess. Alright, so up in the air. Well, that's kind of interesting. Oil filter's leaking. I hear coolant dripping. Up there. Can you see the stream right there? Where is that coming from? That's actually coming from up high. All right, let's let this thing back down. I'm gonna, actually, let me tighten up that filter real quick. Hang on. I don't know why that would be leaking. Oh, yeah. It wasn't tight at all. Sorry if it wasn't on it, but yeah, I got about three quarters of a turn out of that thing. Okay. Let's let this thing down. See what's going on. Every time I do stuff like this, the only thing I can think of is um, Jake and Elwood and the Blues Brothers when they're in the elevator and you hear the elevator music playing and they're just waiting. That's what I think of every time. Blues Brothers. Best movie ever made. Challenge me. So where are we leaking from? Oh, <laughs> well, I guess that would be a problem. Yes, that would be like a major leak. Why did that happen? Okay. Why did that blow off of there? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let me, uh, let me take this cruise piece out of the way so I can get down there a little better. Cruise unit's out of the way. The neck looks fine. Doesn't have any cracks in it. The hose looks fine. I thought maybe there'd be a broken off piece in there. I have no idea what happened. None. Unless somebody had this thing apart. I know it wasn't us. All right, let me, uh, I'm going to change that clamp. And uh, I'm going to put a regular worm clamp on there. Let me get that clamp off of there. So I don't see anything wrong with the clamp. It's not cracked or broken because sometimes these things will crack and break. So I got a feeling at a previous repair that somebody didn't put that thing on right. It was probably just on top of that hump. There's like a little, that bulge on, a, on the radiator that keeps this from coming off. That's why the bulge is there, because the clamp will hit it and keep it from coming off. So, with that clamp in place, 
Let me start this thing up. I'm going to see how it sounds. Now let's start it up. I don't know if you caught what I said before. See how it sounds. See how it sounds. Kind of weird, right? You think about it? To see how something sounds? Alright, that actually sounds okay. Could have been my imagination. Hopefully it did. Yeah, it sounds okay. I'm going to take it for a road test. I'm going to have to uh, get some of the water out of there and put some straight up coolant in there. It's got a bad coil. You hear it? You hear that? That's a bad coil. So this thing's misfiring, and it's not because of an overheat. That's a bad coil. Did you hear that? I'm curious. Sounds like Morse code. So underneath here, there's going to be a coil that's arcing out. All right, let me put the cruise back in. Let me get some of that water out of there because I got to put in uh, concentrated um, antifreeze and then let's take it for a quick road test. So the level's good. I actually, I used my sucker device, that thing right there. It works off the air pressure and it actually creates a suction. And I took the hose, stuck it in there. I basically sucked the bottle out. I was actually, I got a, a gallon of coolant, straight coolant in there. So that's perfect. I actually had to open a second bottle. So that level should be perfect. I'm just going to put it back up in the air, recheck, make sure I don't see anything else leaking. I mean, obviously, a hose being off is going to be a major, major, major coolant leak. So but let's, uh, let's put this up in the air. So underneath, everything's looking good right now. You see this thing's shaking like crazy. Misfiring like mad. But I'm going to take it for a ride. See how she does. I'm sure she's going to be hopping and popping all over the place because of the misfire. Oh, what was that? Just just drip from there. Oh, uh, we got coolant leaking there too now. Hmm. Hmm. Is that coolant? That's coolant. Where is that coming from? I think I know. Let me investigate. So coolant leaking out there. Only one thing it could be. Actually, I shouldn't say it's the only thing it could be. It's the most likely issue. Although I've never seen anything else. It's the water pump. Water pump's leaking. There's a timing belt motor. So, uh... Yeah, that's, that's not good. But, um, let me leave it running for a little bit. I'm not, I'm not going to bother road testing it. I'm going to leave it running for a little bit, make sure there's nothing, um, blowing up or whatever. I mean, the fans are coming on. I don't see any smoke. It does have that misfire. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Unless something else comes up, then I'll just add to the end of this. But, yeah, um, yeah, so, okay, we're going to need a water pump also. Did the hose blowing off create that problem? I doubt it. Did that problem create the hose blowing off? No way. That clamp was never installed, or the hose was never put on correctly. Somebody did something at some point in time. It could have lasted like that for five years, ten years. You know, who knows? But, um, all right. So we're going to leave this alone right now. Like I said, if, uh, if something else dramatic shows up, like it's got a blown head gasket or whatever, which I really don't think it does, then I'll add to the end of this video. But... That's pretty much it for right now. So if you're getting something out of my videos, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep wrenching. So actually, something did come up. Something I meant to mention. See that? I put it up. In, I was confident it fixed the coolant leak, but I wanted to put it up in the air and just recheck everything. Recheck your work just to make sure. Because if you recheck your work and your work is good, you may see something else like I just did. I just noticed the water pump was leaking. And obviously, I didn't see it before. It was such a major leak with the hose. But, uh, yeah, so now... Okay, we know that the, the water pump is leaking. And it's, that's a pretty substantial leak, actually, from it's dripping. So, uh, but yeah, always recheck. It doesn't hurt to recheck. Just be on the safe side. Thanks, guys. Keep wrenching.